You know, some years ago, Mama used to ask me, Honey, all these preachers that preach about God will give you money, God will give you car, God will give you house. If you believe, shout amen. Mama would say to me, Honey, what about multi billionaires? Will they listen to that preacher? I say, For what? They would tell him, Come, 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 stop shouting. What is it? That is why Jesus didn't come for things, He came to save sinners. Because the man has everything, but there's one thing he doesn't have the salvation of his soul, and that's the gospel. I will be the richest man on earth greed covetousness messages that are materialistic how to make it entrepreneurial skills in the church messages that make you feel that if you don't have financial breakthrough god is not happy with you messages that make you feel that the approval of god is that you joined this church just one month ago now you have a jeep messages that inspire greed and covetousness that's the doctrine of Bala and it's in many churches and believers are taught to give money and that when they give money they will prosper it's fraud fraud of the highest order give so you can be rich is fraud they are stealing from you there is no such promise in the scripture any preacher who said give me money god will multiply it is a thief did you hear what i said what is he he's a thief caught me anywhere the true word of a minister is not the car he drives. The true value of a minister is his ability to communicate doctrine. Material acquisition is not blessing. Look at that first Corinthians again chapter 1 verse 18. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. Uh, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. It's foolishness. The word Moria. It doesn't make sense. The preaching of the cross does not make sense. It's of no effect. The word kenu in the Greek. K-E-N-O-O. -O it is of no effect that is it is void what paul is saying is if jesus is caesar then he achieved nothing <laughs> if jesus's kingdom is caesar's kingdom then he achieved nothing at least caesar conquered the entire world so if jesus's kingdom is caesar's kingdom where is the basis of comparison by the wisdom of this world i say where is the basis of comparison <laughs> it's like the preacher said god has anointed me to make people rich in his church you cannot count five billionaires and he has pastored them for up to 20 years yet god sent him to make people rich and unbelievers that god didn't send anybody to make them rich billionaires and somebody said god has told me to raise millionaires Where, which verse which verse from except is a bible i have not read i have not seen any verse in the bible that say we should raise millionaires but i have seen a verse that say we should equip believers to do the work of ministry we are not here to raise millionaires we are here to raise believers we are here to raise an army for god that will preach the gospel of christ an army that will preach the message of salvation because the gospel is the power of god unto salvation we are not here to raise millionaires we are not here to raise millionaires we are here to raise people that are christ-like people that are reflecting christ i've never seen a verse that says we should raise millionaires it's not in the bible and it is not what the apostles handed over to us no it's not it's not historical christianity and it's not apostolic teaching the raising of millionaires don't you want you to be millionaires you should be millionaires because if you have money we can do more but that's not our teaching in this church see i hear you 
But when a church focuses on materialistic gospel, it's the doctrine of Balaam. See, I hear. Uh -huh. If Jesus' kingdom is the same with Caesar's kingdom, then Jesus achieved nothing. That means there's no difference. That means Caesar is superior to Jesus. How wealthy was Jesus on earth? You can't compare him to Caesar. They had to borrow a grave to bury him. That's how wealthy he was. You're not hearing me. That's how wealthy he was. If Jesus is equated with an earthly king, then his kingdom is of no effect. But if he came to reverse humanity, then he can't do things as humanity in his lowest state. He can't do things like them. He therefore exalts humanity in itself and that exaltation is foolishness. That's the message of Paul. That's the message of Paul. The preaching of the cross to those that perish is foolishness. How can you say Jesus is the savior of the world and yet people that are following him have not broken world record economically? It's foolishness. How can you say he is the king of the universe and he is hung on a tree which is the death of a criminal or the death of condemnation. That is why it became a stumbling block to the Jews. That's why it became an offense to the Greeks because it doesn't make sense. You say you came to save man and you cannot even save yourself from a tree. Come on tree. You can't free yourself from a tree. And you say you came to free mankind. It makes no sense. Because the world has been trained to think in terms of violence. In terms of oppression. That's the world system. In terms of anyhow, anyhow. The world system prides itself in violence. And none of that is an attribute of the kingdom of Jesus. So that's why the kingdom of God is foolishness to a man that is perishing. 